Well, we are leaving the coast today. miss the ocean and I don't know when I will be back to the coast but I have obligations that I need to take care of so let's go we're only going like a half an hour away so it's not far but we're gonna start trekking east oh Newport you've been so good to me oh and I'm just gonna miss everybody that I met here. Holy crap. I met, those are my locks. <laughs> I met more people here in the last two weeks than I have like since Schooly Palooza. So it's been real. Good times, good times. It's funny because I feel this way almost every single time I leave somewhere when I spend more than like a day or two there. I form this attachment and maybe that's a sign that I really need to work on my attachments and learn to detach easier. Life lessons, you know. But I am genuinely sad, like I don't want to leave but I do, you know, because onward on to great adventures. but. I really am gonna miss it here. <sighs> All right, we're going to Toledo, which a few weeks ago they had a little van life event called Holy Toledo there. I, however, did not go because I was, I think, in Florence at the time or maybe yeah I think I was in Florence at the time and I didn't it was only like an hour and a half drive from where I was and I was like mm, I don't really want to spend the money in gas and you also had to buy a ticket but I heard it was a lot of fun and maybe next year I can be more prepared to do more events like that but it was so last second that I heard of it so you know but yes, yeah, so there are places that you can stay there along the pier. And so I was told about that by somebody here, actually. So I'm going to go check it out. It's like marina parking and they have um, pit toilets. And you're right on the river. So I'm still going to be by water. Toledo population 3,590 so cute that's about how big the town was that I lived in when I went to high school Samanag. Toledo is hopping right now they have some sort of like boat show or something going on everyone's just posted up by their boats your destination is on the right this is the parking lot that I'm supposed to be wanting to park in, and it definitely looks... Oh, wait, there might be a spot right there. There is. There's one spot, and it's all freaking mine. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, there's some fun things going on. What does that say? Restricted parking. Okay, well, we'll just park right here for now.
Good morning, everybody. It is time for us to exit this port. This is the Port of Toledo, if anybody was wondering. And I was recommended this place by somebody I met in Newport. And they said that they do not care if you sleep in their parking lot. But I kind of want to stay here again, like in Toledo, because it was really cute and it's really small and it just feels safe and the weather's still really nice. So first thing is first, I must go get coffee. So I'm going to run to a little coffee shop. Head northwest on Southeast Butler Bridge Road towards South Main Street. Right. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Northwest 1st Street. Your destination is on the left. Dang, Oregon is so freaking beautiful. Freaking love it here. It is already almost five o'clock. I've been sitting here all day. Um, so now we're gonna go back to the marina and, oh shush, Nance. Head north on Elk City Road. There's only a few restaurants in town, um, none of which are very vegan friendly. But they do have a restaurant that has some Cajun fries. So I'm gonna go and get some Cajun fries from this restaurant and like hang out at the marina. Oh my 
my gosh, it is so beautiful out here. We are officially leaving Toledo. I have about a four hour drive ahead of me to Bend, Oregon. Oh, I'm gonna miss this beautiful weather. I'll tell you that right now. It's only 62 degrees right now and I'm a little chilly. <laughs> oh man. But I did check the weather for Bend and it says that it'll be um, in the 80s. So. It's not in the 90s anymore. I don't know, that's only for the next like four days. Uh, the highest that was on there was 87, I believe, 87 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is still very warm comparably to what we've been dealing with. So, you know, it'll be a little bit of an adjustment, uh, mainly doing errands and things because midday when it's 85, I cannot be going and spending an hour in the grocery store just taking my sweet time, but that's okay. You know, we'll do them early in the morning like we used to always do. All right, we have about four hours though, so let's get to Bend, Oregon. Like 40 miles to go, so might as well. 
I'll see how Bend is doing. And I have like three days until I have something I need to do in Bend. So I do have three days if it's too smoky to go somewhere and try to get out of the smoke. so good to be back in Bend and I am so happy that it is not as smoky as I thought it was going to be um, people were warning me that it was going to be smoky here and honestly it just kind of smells like somebody is having a bonfire far away like it doesn't even you can't really see the smoke and uh, it's just a faint smell of it so that makes me really happy it's so beautiful here it's like I almost forgot how much I loved Bend. If you are into outdoor activities at all, like you would love Bend, Oregon, because they have every activity you could think of, they have it here, like outdoorsy wise. But I think this is where I'm going to end this vlog because now I'm going to start my inland adventures, starting with Bend. I have some things that I need to do while I'm here, but we also have some fun things planned for my time here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, definitely subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!